the woods today, I came across this farm pond. Many woodland owners have ponds on their property, small lakes, streams, or creeks. But it's the ponds, though, that create problems sometimes, especially with weeds. Uh, if you look across here, this, this pond looks like it's full of pea soup. Sometimes you think you could walk across it, it's so thick. This pond is actually infested with water meal. Probably has got a little duckweed in it, too. They look, look very similar, and they're both are called floating weeds. Uh, the way you tell the difference between duckweed and water meal is that duckweed has roots on it. You can take a glass jar and scoop up some of these weeds and hold it up to the light. And if you see little roots hanging off of it, then you know you have duckweed. Water meal looks like green grits. The management strategy for these type of weeds, both duckweed and water meal, are not the same. But it's important to know which one you have. Now this lake, like all lakes, have weeds that grow not only under the surface of the water, but also attached to the soil around, um, at the bottom of the pond. There are weeds that grow on the edge of the pond, which we call the shelf. So you can have cattails out here, bulrush on the shelf of the pond. You can have filamentaceous algae growing under the pond. You can have lilies that are attached to the bottom. There are a lot of aquatic weeds that can inhabit a pond, and you can have a half a dozen or more. But the important thing to know as a landowner is, which weed do I have? You don't want to go down to the farm supply and say, I've got horsehair moss and my pond's green. Uh, what can I put on there? Well, that's just guessing. What you need to do is, is take a sample, put it in a, a plastic bag, take it to your local county extension office and have that agent take a look at it and see if he or she knows what it is. It, it's important to identify the weed. Therefore, you know the strategy how to manage it, and if you need a herbicide, you know which one is the most effective on it. Um, once you get that weed identified, if that agent doesn't know, they'll send it to NC State University to have it identified and come back with the control practices necessary. So the take home to this is get your weeds identified, come up with a management strategy because you may attempt to do it in early spring, late summer, or fall. It all depends on the weed as to the time of the year and which herbicide you use to control it. Um, don't think, like I said, one chemical does it all. It just doesn't. Pond management is important not only for recreational uses, for swimming, for fishing, but also for wildlife management. Um, another little tip is don't think that these uh, grass carp, people tell you, oh, put carp in there. They'll eat the weeds. Well, grass carp are kind of like I. I'm not going to eat everything that's put on my plate sometimes. Same way with aquatic fishes like the um, ones I just mentioned. Those grass carp only eat in certain weeds. A lot of weeds they won't touch. So if you've got the weed to eat, that's a good organic approach to getting rid of pond weeds. But anyway, take a look at your weeds, take a sample to the county extension office, and go from there. I'm Rhett Davis with the North Carolina Tree Farm Program.